Okay, we're at 27.5 household wiring and electrical safety. That's the last section of, uh, of uh, this chapter 27. Uh, we're gonna talk about household wiring and, and this is the way, this is very simplified, but typical uh, circuit, the, your, your uh, what they call the live wire, uh, the one that carries 120 uh, volts comes into the house um, through a meter. Uh, they, the meter measures how much uh, energy you're using and measured in watts. And you have a neutral, uh, uh, the ground wire, uh, everything uh, has to be uh, connected to ground. So it comes in at uh, 120 volts and it goes through a circuit breaker and then it goes through uh, different, different branches. Um, and here they're showing you like three different uh, th three different uh, uh, like appliances. Uh, so oh, let me dismiss this. Um, so the power is equal to the uh, current times the voltage. Uh, the current is equal to power divided by the voltage. Um, we're going to use that to add up the current. Um, let's say we have a 20 amp current and we have three devices. Um, the uh, uh, first device is a toaster, which is, is a thousand watt toaster uh, divided by 120 volts. That gives you 8.33 amps. And you have a microwave, which is a 1300 watt uh, microwave divided by 120 volts. That gives you 10.8 amps. And let's say you also have a coffee maker that's 800 watts um, the, divided by 120 volts. If, if you, uh, um, if you, had all of these three going at once on the same uh, circuit breaker, it's a 20 amp circuit breaker, you're gonna get 25.8 amps and you're gonna blow the circuit breaker. So um, you, this is actually something I have a, an RV with a 30 amp, uh, it, it's a 30 amp RV. And so there's you know, so, just so much I can, um, I can turn on at the same time, which it's never been a, a, a inconvenience, but I do have to watch it. Um, so the total here is, is 25.8 amps. If it's a 30 amp breaker, we'll, we'll be okay. If it's a 20 amp breaker, uh, we may be in trouble. Um, now, some devices uh, like your dryer, they run on 240. And so the, um, uh, the, the power company provide, you have 120, above ground and uh, 120 below ground, that gives you the 240 uh, to run the, the uh, devices. And it has a different type of plug. You can't plug it in, uh, you can't plug it into a regular wall uh, socket. Now, uh, let's talk about electrical safety. If you have a, uh, let's say you have, a, like here they're showing a drill motor and you're plugged in, you have the hot and you have the neutral if the hot were somehow uh you know through wear and tear the uh the wire is exposed if it were to touch the the uh, the if it were to touch the uh, motor casing and you end up touching it then you would supply the ground and the uh current would go through you this is very dangerous let's see what the uh the little box says, in the situation shown, the live wire has come into contact with the drill case. As a result, the person holding the drill acts as a current path to ground and receives an electric shock. And nowadays you have the these three prong, I mean, you can still get these two prong devices, but it's better to have a three prong device because they uh, provide a, uh, uh, a third, a third uh, basically what they're doing is they, they ground the case in this situation, the drill case remains at ground potential and no uh, current exists in the person. So that's just a safety measure. And uh, in like in your bathrooms and not, uh, outdoor, you, you have a uh, ground fault circuit interrupter, uh, GFCI, that uh, if it senses a, um, if it senses uh, unbal imbalance in the current, it'll trip. Uh, and that's that's for safety. Um, we'll cover that because it 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 uh, uses uh, magnetism. Uh, it senses the, uh, uh, the a difference in the current using 
uh, uh, a coil. Uh, we'll study that in chapter 30. And I think that's it for the uh, for this chapter. Okay.